Hello friend, uh, I got one uh, comment from Jay Panchal. So he commented that uh, created the create the DXF file for the laser cutting part. So in this video, we will create the one sheet metal part quickly, and after that, uh, we will uh, uh, convert uh, that uh, uh, DXF file in uh, convert the DXF file uh, 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 of the sheet metal, and uh, how we can convert, uh, we will see in this video. Okay, so let's start. So friend, uh, we have created the sheet metal part here and now uh, what we are doing, so we are converting this uh, means uh, converting this file into DXF file so that we can cut into, uh, we can cut to cut with the help of laser cutting, laser beam cutting. So actually what happened, uh, uh, so while working with the sheet metal model, actually the sheet metal pop, uh, model is firstly it comes with a flat sheet only and we will cut with the help of laser cutting eh? so for that we need the flat pattern so we will create the flat pattern here go to tools family table and here create the one flat so instead of insta here you can say flat flat okay fl i will type fl you can type here also fl okay okay now we'll set the parameter okay so this flat i don't want this okay just say open here open this file and delete this unbend from here okay and if you go into bracket only it is like that so you can save this one now okay bracket i saved say okay okay if you go into if you go into this one say here it is no and bend back here it is yes in the family table so now you have created the family for the flat pattern and the uh, actual model okay now go to new here say same name you have to type here bracket okay and here drawing select the drawing default template and say okay okay i am using here with the f okay with the format or with the template you can select any template here okay and if you have the previous so i can select here empty now i am selecting empty and a zero sides okay now uh, which component i want for a dx dxf file i want the flat pattern so here you can select the okay this component okay now i want place the general view place the general view say combine view say okay and place this one so you can select yeah front view say apply and after that display file no hidden and you can see here as per the standard of your companies some companies place the solid and some company place the dimmed okay i am placing the solid here and if you place here dim you can see the difference that edges is in the uh, fainted fainted color okay okay if you say the none that uh, edge will uh, will not display here bending okay so you'll say okay but you want those bending okay for the bending okay so i'm double click here see here or uh, dimmed apply here and say okay now as of now i am unhiding from this plane but uh, you need to play with the layer tree okay so here go to anode then uh, show model annotation uh, here i want the axis for this all this okay you can select from here say apply and cancel this one now okay now for this one okay now you, you need to dimensioning this one completely okay so how you can dimension you can dimension like this first of all place the outer dimension okay you have placed the outer dimension after that this radius now the outer profile is completed so what i'm doing here 
uh, I am roughly a means uh, uh, taking the dimension but you need to take care of all those points okay uh, so here uh, outer dimension is completed for but uh, now I will complete this hole so but this hole is a complete hole not the curvature so I need into di diameter so diameter I need to place here double click here and see this one 30 so what we need to do now so this radius is 4 times so go to text and here type the 4x okay 4 and this is a x 4x and this diameter is also 4x 4 times then 4x okay so we can do like this also okay flip the dimension uh, arrow now uh, the which dimension is remain the position of this all four are remaining so take those dimension I will position first hole first okay this is the first hole after that from this direction now the first hole is fixed okay okay but but so now I am defining this hole from here so this dimension should be there only okay so I'll double click here and here okay because this dimension is here only so now I'll define this hole from all the all the other hole okay so this hole is now completed okay and you can you can see this hole now and so what about, about these dimensions you can extend the center line okay or the axis you can see so yeah. from the drawing it will be easy that all holes are aligned in the second direction so this is completed now you need to show the bending bending distance okay so for that also you need to go to I know show model annotation axis for this one okay if you click on the bending so you'll get this axis so you need to bending location also you need to show okay okay this is the simple part okay for complicated part also you can go like this because one by one you need to dimensioning all the see do so that uh, in the laser uh, in the laser cutting it will be easy that the, you can draw the profile okay so this bending is first bending okay first bending directions and the second bending is this one okay so like this you can mention so depend uh, pra, m it's depending upon the company to company uh, they will add the notes like this is the first bending this is the second bending like that also they will add the notes so and uh, on the whole also they will add the some GDNT symbols okay mm, it means uh, positioning of the symbols and for this for outer profile they will add the uh, profile of surface okay profile of line okay that we, uh, they will add for the profile cutting and for the position gum hole they will add the positioning symbol GDNT so like that uh, it for manufacturing uh, the sheet metal part they will add the GDNT and notes are there for, 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 for the practice person first I am showing overall dimension here okay so what we have to do now we just uh, now this size is uh, uh, 1 as to 1 I will uh, say here it is 0.5 say 1 as to 1 okay okay now it is locked but so unlock this one and extend these lines okay I'll extend those lines okay okay so now it is done okay you can say like this okay this is done now now you can convert this file into DXF file okay go to here save a copy okay if you want to convert any file just go go and save as save a copy okay in a save a copy you will get the different number of options are there so in the number of options you can select here DXF file okay 
dxf file i'm uh, pasting here only say okay okay so you'll get options here number of so dxf version is there like that which version you want okay so 14 okay like that you need to select here okay and say export or say okay okay it's already there say okay anyway okay it has been so the dxf file is created now we will open the dxf file okay if you go here and select all file you can see here bracket dxf import here okay in the drawing format okay i'm opening here model space okay so you can see you, if you open in add on like that it will show you like this okay these all dimensions uh, you will get here so this file is converted into dxf now okay